Thank you. New at 5 o'clock, the Biden administration pledges to protect access to reproductive health care after last week's Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services announced a number of steps today, including protecting patient and provider privacy, examine the department's authority in protecting the clinical judgment of health care providers in treating pregnant patients and work on training clinicians in, plan, in family planning, the first step increasing access to abortion pills. Federal law requires our programs to provide medication abortion in certain circumstances, such as the life of the woman, rape, or incest. Now, more than ever, it is imperative that all federally supported programs and services are complying with the law. The Biden administration also launching ReproductiveRights.gov with information for the public. Since the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade, one Indiana abortion clinic is now seeing an influx in demand for services. News aide Camilla Fernandez has more on their concerns for women in Indiana. Days after the Supreme Court's decision, the Women's Med Abortion Clinic in Indianapolis says the number of patients that come in has doubled. While they were not able to go on camera, in a statement, the clinic says women are panicking and they're afraid that those seeking an abortion won't get the care they need. The clinic says they expect Indiana to restrict abortion quickly. That means women will need to drive to Pennsylvania or Illinois for services. And the clinic says they're set to close for good, meaning they're prepared to give their employees enough time to find a new job. On top of that, they're afraid patients around the country will need to wait three to four weeks to get help due to the influx. Planned Parenthood says they're also seeing a rush in patients. We were expecting that, so we, our navigation team has been ready and answering phone calls and directing folks and just kind of letting them know that there are other things that they can be doing and that we are still open, we're still accessible, and abortion is still safe here in Indiana. The state director for Planned Parenthood of Indiana and Kentucky, Lakimba Desidier, says right now the fight for abortion rights is on her priority list. Reporting in Indianapolis, Camilla Fernandez, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook. Camilla, thank you. One of the nation's top pharmacy chains is removing limits on emergency contraception after the Supreme Court's ruling. CBS initially placed limits on Plan B, allowing customers only to buy up to three. That comes shortly after the company started limiting purchases of the morning after pill to three per customer. CBS implemented the limitation due to an increase in demand for the pills. The company says sales have now stabilized. Purchase limits are expected to be removed from all locations within 24 hours.